in the majority of what our repair guys do is cut chain link fences just because i'm sure it's like this everywhere but there's a, a there's a ring of people running around cutting catalytic converters so this is one of those places where they cut the fence to get into the cars got the catalytic converters and, and we're gone welcome back everybody joe everest the fence expert Hey, one of the most common pieces of feedback we get about the Saturday morning live Ask the Experts segment is those things are long, and they're not wrong. They last about three hours, two and a half to three hours. Sometimes, a few weeks ago, Caleb and I got into a pretty good discussion about marketing. I think it lasted closer to four hours. Nobody's got time to sit through four hours of listening to a couple experts talk. I get it. So Jeremy's created a new segment just for you guys called Hot Takes. It's usually a shorter segment of the longer conversation, basically hitting the hot topics, if you will, of that live segment. So without further ado, here comes this week's hot take. It, the perfect example was Friday at like 11 a.m., I get a call from a friend of mine that their fence was cut. And they really needed it. They really needed it fixed by the weekend. I was like, hey, listen, my guys are out for the day. And actually, so this guy and his his assistant were doing, they were doing a big material delivery. So I didn't know if they were going to be back in time. Um, I said, and that's what I told him. I was like, Hey, I, my guys are out, but if I can get guys over there, I will, but it might be Tuesday. And he was like, okay, well, obviously I'd rather be secure for the weekend, but let me know. And then sure enough, these guys rolled back in the material delivery went smoother. Oh, actually. So we didn't think there was going to be a loader unloader there when we dropped off and there was. So they were able to get it unloaded pretty quickly. And then we just retasked them. Said, okay, we need grab four foot of six foot nine gauge, and I need you to head over here and get it done. That's that's a nice solution to have in your back pocket. It it gives you so many referrals and reviews. And mm -hmm. for us, it's just been like it's just a headache relief because you know you want to help customers and you can't help them. And it gives you that stress and that headache of like, how can I help them? It almost makes you want to get in your truck and go help them. Right. But now right. you have and it's like it's it's right there and you can use and then he like I mean, he does so much more than that but that's his main thing is, is repairs well yeah yeah you you can't do the whole like there's typically not enough repairs to make a full-time position out of especially not for these guys it's two full-time positions um, but we can schedule them to be here on the lot for like thursdays is when all our deliveries come in or m the majority of our deliveries come in we just schedule them here on thursdays you know yeah. and we can schedule schedules different things thing is like the emergency repairs are the ones that need it the most you know that they haven't been waiting six weeks for a fence and they haven't so they're the ones to your point that you want to help the most because it's an emergency and, I, and you like pleasing people um so the other part of this conversation too is on the business side the revenue side they're typically they typically pay better when you know if you compare gross profit say for the time it takes for the material it takes they pay better yeah, and then there's less variables. That's my biggest yeah. thing. We can eliminate variables like we're doing good. So like you don't have to quite one one on most repairs. Not every repair, but right. most repairs, there's no eight one one. It's a yeah. smaller contract. There's not as much detail. There's no project manager going out there. Yep. We're really limiting like the the amount of work. Yeah. Well, in this example, it was in the majority of what our repair guys do is cut chain link fences. Just because I'm sure it's like this everywhere, but there's a, a there's a ring of people running around cutting catalytic converters. So this is one of those places where they cut the fence to get into the cars, got the catalytic converters, and, and we're gone. Business needs it right away. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they, they needed it right then because they knew it was going to happen again, and they wanted to make it harder for these people to get in. Like you said, there's no 811, no project management. I literally said, hey, could you shoot me a couple of pictures so I know what to send the guys with? Yeah, and, and I knew. I, grateful I, that it's like people want to give them all your time. And they, don't time. they just want it fixed. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, they're not, and they're not getting bids for it either. Yep. You know, and I don't say that to say you take advantage of the situation, but you don't have to send somebody out to look at it. You don't have to do any of that. Send me a couple pictures. I'll send guys out. And they just, you know, of course, sometimes if it's a company that doesn't know you, they're going to ask for a price and all that. But – most of the times they don't ask, you know, and, and you treat them right when you send the bill. So then that's that's the ultimate key to this, right, is when they receive the bill, it's less than what they would have expected for same day emergency, you know, emergency repairs. 
is less than what because there's other industries where you would pay an arm and a leg for an emergency service call all right guys that concludes this week's hot take did you like it did you not like it you like the format do you not like the format let me know in the comments below we're still figuring this out and we could use your help but for now i'm a joe Everest, the fence expert reminding you that good fences make good neighbors and i'll see you next time